Hey guys, welcome back to Living Gratefully. I just have a quick little Big Lots haul. I mean, it's like not even considered a haul. It's just a few things I wanted to share with you. I picked up um, just a few things I needed. So the first thing I got was these Farberware fry pans and they say they're ceramic and I like the fact that they're like white and gray. I think they were really pretty, but the main reason why I got them, we're always kind of needing a couple of extra skillets, but the main reason I was like, yes, I'm getting these today is because they say dishwasher safe. So I love anything that's dishwasher safe and this was $25 for two, so I thought that was a good deal. I'll let you know how I like them. And I needed some Q-tips, so that's nothing exciting, but that's something that I really just can't not have in the house. I need Q-tips, whether I'm traveling or, you know, not traveling, I just need them always. I don't ever wanna run out of them, so. Is there anything that you guys just have to have in stock and keep inventory of that you never want to run out of? Let me know in the comments below. Q-tips is one thing for me. Kleenex. I always have to have Kleenex. I always have to have Vaseline. And I always have to have red cups for my water. Those are my main things. But I needed some Q-tips, so I picked those up. And then I also found this three quart bowl. I actually looked at Walmart and they didn't have one that I liked. It's just like the perfect little size to mix up a brownie mix or whatever. And we had one um, that was this exact size and I like it kind of flat on the bottom. There's just some things that you just know and it's lightweight. There's just some things that you know you like and you just don't want to use something that you don't like. So we used to have one, but we put paint thinner in it um, when we were staying in our deck. I think that's when we did it. I don't know exactly when, but it ruined the finish on the inside and now I don't really wanna use it to cook with. So I got us a new one and Big Lots had the perfect little size and feel. I'll put the price here on the screen. I don't remember how much it was, maybe five bucks. And then two, Last things, um, I told you it's not really considered a haul, but this is actually the main reason why I went there, to get this lip ink crayon that I really like. This is the number 25, and it's called Stay Exceptional, and sometimes I'll go to Walmart and they won't have it, so Big Lots had it, and this is um, Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in. And this is what I'm wearing right now. And it just has like a little soft, very soft tip, which the one I have is wearing down as far as the tip, but it has this little sharpener on the other side. So I haven't had to use it yet, but yeah, I figured I'd grab another one, first of all, while they had it in stock, cause it's hard to find. And then also like just to keep in my purse. So I have one in my makeup bag and then now I'll have one in my purse. And I'm really excited cause I like this color. And then the last thing I grabbed was this corrective concealer. I probably should have put it on today cause I needed it under my eyes. I'm hoping that one of these e.l.f. corrective concealers that say, it says neutralize and conceal will help with my under eyes. I haven't tried it out yet. Um, I'm not sure if it'll work. If you guys have tried something like this, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that's basically my Big Lots haul. It's small, but I thought I'd come on here and share it with you in case you get inspired and wanna go get you some Q-tips or some frying pans or some makeup or a bowl. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.